What's up guys, in this video I just wanted to give a quick explanation as to why I'm moving away from a Conquer of Completion for NeoVim in favor of um, the built-in LSP that will be in NeoVim in the future. And basically, I'll just be going over some of the reasons as to why I'm moving over and kind of uh, the roadmap for where NeoVim's going soon. So you might know that NeoVim 0.5 is coming out soon. Current, uh, currently we're on like NeoVim uh, point four or something um, and point five is really going to have a lot of big updates with it uh, so for instance you'll be able to do like an init.lua with this instead of init.vim and I think that's already supported there you'll see that this is still an init.vim file but in the future pretty much everything will be configured with lua and you can see like already a lot of my config is like moving over to lua anyway so you can expect like most plugins or mostly everything in NeoVim to just kind of um, be going in that direction. Now that doesn't mean that all of VimScript is going to be completely obsolete. I, it'll probably and will always be supported uh, in the text editor. But you will notice that a lot of people uh, will be switching for uh, like Lua and all that kind of stuff, just for all the cool things that Lua provides us. It's it's almost like having like how Emacs has like Elisp, right? Um, the other thing is, you know, LSP is built in now, and that's kind of like the reason that I'm saying that I would be moving away from COC, right? So if you do H and then you do LSP here, you'll see like, okay, there's a ton of documentation for LSP that's actually just built into NeoVim now. So like, why would I not use what's built in? And I'm assuming there's gonna be a lot of community support for what's already built in here. Now they provide a pretty um, general API. So like they're not, it's not opinionated at all. So there's still gonna be like a lot of plugins that are gonna be uh, like essentially implementing this and um, coming up with cool ways to use it and kind of present it. Um, but that's kind of the underlying, um, that's what I want to use is what's built in, right? Like I want to use what's underlying and built into NeoVim itself. Um, <clears throat> now I'm going to go over a couple things here. So like the milestone thing, the reason I'm switching over now is like, this is happening soon. Like 0.5 is probably going to be out. I mean, if, if you believe this in four days, now I don't necessarily believe this. Um, they say Christmas is coming. Um, I mean, we'll see, right? Uh, it might come out on the 14th, but it probably will come out soon. So, like, there's only a few issues that are really left here, I guess, until they can say that it's done. Um, and for me, I've been using it for a while, and it seems to work just fine for me. Um, the other thing I wanted to go over was, um, yeah, you could just like this plugin, for instance, called LSP or NVIM LSP Config. And I'm going to be doing a video. I'll release it tomorrow about this. Um, and and a couple other uh, and another plugin and just the other ways that you can kind of set up the uh, the native LSP. But essentially, you can see like all of these language servers are you know supported here, right? And like they're all using built-in LSP and or well the built-in like language server protocol. They don't need COC anymore, right? A lot of people or a lot of the time. Well, for most of the people that were using COC, they were using it mostly just for this reason. Now, COC does extra stuff and a lot of other things, but I just feel like, I, I don't know, it's, just, it's probably simpler um, just to move, maybe not simpler, but in the long run, it'll be simpler probably just to move over to something like this. Um, so yeah, you can check out this, but like I said, I'll do a video tomorrow kind of explaining some of these. Um, another issue that I wanted to go over was in the COC repo, like you can see, like this guy was asking some questions like, is COC an alternative to LSP support? Uh, does native LSP support benefit to COC in some ways? And does native LSP uh, support shadow COC in some ways? So is COC an alternative to LSP? It is an alternative. Uh, does it support COC? No. And does it shadow COC? No. So, so like, it's it's just an alternative. And I'd rather just go with what's built in, like I said, you know? Um, COC is still great and it works really well, but it's, if it's not going to like use what's already there, then I just, I, I don't, I don't know. I just, I kind of see it being pushed out in the future, you know? Um, although it is, you know, pretty good software and I used it for a while, so I don't really have anything really bad to say about it. 
Um, so yeah, so basically I have a lot of this stuff in the config now. Um, I updated it. Uh, I just kind of, sp I spent like a day just moving like um, some things over to Lua, checking out some new plugins that support the, uh, the, native, um, the native language server protocol. So you can check that out over here and you can kind of see where I'm going. My plan is to hopefully move, like right now you see like 80% Vim script here and like 15% Lua. The plan is to hopefully like get this to around the opposite, right? Like 80% Lua and like 15% um, like Vim script if possible. And that's not like the only thing that's coming out with uh, NeoVim. So you'll see things like Tree Sitter coming out, um, is coming out and is going to be supported. So if you don't know what Tree Sitter is, I think I did a video on it before, and I'll probably do a better video on it in the future. But if you see like all of this good uh, syntax highlighting here, like that's all provided by Tree Sitter, and Tree Sitter does like way more than just the syntax highlighting, um, and will probably continue to do a whole lot in the future. Um, but you can see like you know like this just looks so much better than any other color scheme I've ever seen, uh, you know, in NeoVim before. And you can just see how fast, like, the new things... Like, here's, like, a tool tip that comes with uh, one of the new things. Like, you can see that little light bulb there. Um, let's see. Like, if I get rid of this... Uh, I'm trying to look for some uh, LSP here. Like, some diagnostics. Like, see the diagnostics are here? And it's still a little rudimentary, like... Um, you know, this little box, and I don't know if you have the, I don't know if it's super easy to, like, turn on and off the virtual uh, text and all that. Like, I haven't really tried that hard. Like, I haven't really played with it too much, but it is here, and it does work, so, you know, why not support it just out of the box? You can see, like, it's really fast, too. Like, if we go to, like, go to different, go to definition for header there, like, that's really fast. Moving back, whatever. You can, like, uh, go to references, so, like, you do GR on this. It's really fast. This is used all over the place, you know, in the project here. So, yeah. And I just expect, like, in the future, you'll probably see cool things like floating windows and all that kind of stuff supported. Like, um, I know uh, LSP Saga is another one. I think I have something working with LSP Saga. Uh, I don't know exactly what it is, but you can do, like, I don't know... I'm trying to remember what exactly I was using. I guess it has format. No, this is some of the stuff that I have. So if you do LSP Saga and then like this stuff. Yeah, like it has like built-in rename and hovering over the dock. And it uses like these cool um, uh, floating terminals and stuff like that. So you can already see like that's just one plugin that's starting to use it. And I, I think a lot in the future are going to be are going to be doing that. Another really cool one. I use Java a lot too. If we come over here... Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go check out the wiki. So you can go on the wiki for the L NVIM LSP config. And uh, let's see. Further integration examples. Language specific plugins. Yeah, so if you go to NVIM JD TLS, this is what I'm probably going to be setting up in the future because I write a lot of Java. Um, basically, like this whole plugin here is met as kind of a layer on top of this config, right? So that you can, so that you can essentially like get all that Java support, like almost, it, it's still going to be difficult to set up because it's Java, right? But it has really cool things like um, one that I really like, and I'm looking for it here, is this stuff that's coming out with NVIM DAP or NVIM DAP. Um, I, I think it's like debugger adapter protocol or something like that. I don't really know what DAP stands for, but... I know that it'll be cool because what I'll be able to do is you can do test class and test nearest method probably is like code actions. Now I haven't set this up yet, but you'll be able to do things like code actions. And that was kind of one of the reasons that I was still playing around with VS Code was because like when I'm going through tests and I have a big giant test file with like 50 tests in it and I just want to run one at a time, uh, you know, this is this is kind of what I wanted and I just couldn't find that really anywhere else. And this seems to be available now. so. Um, this is something I plan on setting up in the future, at least for Java. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much, I guess, like the interesting bits of the roadmap that are coming. Um, I'm sure there's a lot more stuff that's going to be coming out with like 0.51 and 0.5, so on and so forth. But like this is kind of a pretty big milestone or a yeah, a pretty big milestone in uh, NeoVim's development here. So I just wanted to explain that if anyone was looking at like my config and noticed like all the COC stuff's gone or everything changed and like how do you set up 
the new LSP stuff. Uh, there will be a video coming out tomorrow that kind of explains how to install all that stuff and how to get it all set up. Um, it'll probably be somewhat difficult to do in the future, like for now. But in the future, there's going to also be things like, um, let's see here. Uh, let's go back. There's going to be, let's see, installing language servers automatically. Like you can already see there's a couple plugins here. And in the future, like for instance, it used to, like NeoVim, when they were doing this, they used to have like an LSP install functionality, but I guess they got rid of it. Um, there's probably going to be plugins that just make it a lot easier. I guess this one here supports like Bash, CMake, so on and so forth, like all these guys here. Obviously, it's probably not going to support JDTLS in Java because, again, that can be a nightmare and some of the more difficult ones. Um, but, you know, they have a roadmap to do this. And wouldn't it be nice if like this plugin right here, just like you could just do like uh, LSP install and pick like a thing, you know, and then just have it like almost like how VS Code is and not even think about it, you know, besides maybe like some configuration somewhere. Um, so I hope, you know, this project kind of continues with what they're doing because that would be that would be really cool. But yeah, anyway, um, that's pretty much this video. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.